Day 5, 2 Samuel 22, 31, and Psalm 18, 30. As for God, His way is perfect. The word of Yahweh is tested. He is a shield to all those who take refuge in Him. Proverbs 5. My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Turn your ear to my understanding, that you may maintain discretion, that your lips may preserve knowledge. For the lips of an adulteress drip honey. Her mouth is smoother than oil. But in the end she is as bitter as wormwood, and as sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps lead straight to Sheol. She gives no thought to the way of life. Her ways are crooked, and she doesn't even know it. Now therefore, my sons, listen to me. Don't depart from the words of my mouth. Remove your way far from her. Don't come near the door of her house, lest you give your honor to others and your years to the cruel one. Lest strangers feast on your wealth and your labors enrich another man's house. You will groan at your latter end when your flesh and your body are consumed and say, How I have hated instruction and my heart despised reproof. Neither have I obeyed the voice of my teachers nor turned my ear to those who instructed me. I have come to the brink of utter ruin in the midst of the gathered assembly. Drink water out of your own cistern, running water out of your own well. Should your springs overflow in the streets, streams of water in the public squares, let them be for yourself alone, not for strangers with you. Let your spring be blessed. Rejoice in the wife of your youth. A loving doe and a graceful deer, let her breasts satisfy you at all times. Be captivated always with her love. For why should you, my son, be captivated with an adulteress and be embraced in the arms of a seductress? For the ways of man are before the eyes of Yahweh. He examines all his paths. The evil deeds of the wicked ensnare him. The cords of his sin hold him firmly. He will die for lack of instruction. In the greatness of his folly, he will go astray. Psalm 21 The king rejoices in your strength, Yahweh. How greatly he rejoices in your salvation. You have given him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips. Selah. For you meet him with the blessings of goodness. You set a crown of fine gold on his head. He asked life of you. You gave it to him, even length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in your salvation. You lay honor and majesty on him. For you make him most blessed forever. You make him glad with your joy in your presence. For the king trusts in Yahweh. Through the loving kindness of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Your hand will find out all of your enemies. Your right hand will find out those who hate you. But you will make them as a fiery furnace in the time of your anger. Yahweh will swallow them up in his wrath. The fire shall devour them. You will destroy their descendants from the earth, their posterity from among the children of men. For they intended evil against you. They plotted evil against you, which cannot succeed. For you will make them turn their back when you aim, when you aim drawn bows at their face. Be exalted, Yahweh, in your strength, so we will sing and praise your power. Psalm 22 my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the words of my groaning? My God, I cry in the daytime, but you don't answer. In the night season, and am not silent. But you are holy, you who inhabit the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in you. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not disappointed. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despised by the people. All those who seek me mock me. They insult me with their lips. 
They shake their heads, saying, He trusts in Yahweh. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, since he delights in him. But you brought me out of the womb. You made me trust at my mother's breasts. I was thrown on you from my mother's womb. You are my God, since my mother bore me. Don't be far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have surrounded me. Strong bulls of Bashan have encircled me. They open their mouths wide against me, lions tearing prey and roaring. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within me. My strength is dried up like a potsherd. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You have brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have surrounded me. A company of evil doers have enclosed me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all of my bones. They look and stare at me. They divide my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. But don't be far off, Yahweh. You are my help. Hurry to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, yes, from the horns of the wild oxen. You have answered me. I will declare your name to my brothers. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear Yahweh, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, all you descendants of Israel. For he has not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, neither has he hidden his face from him. But when he cried to him, he heard. Of you comes my praise in the great assembly. I will pay my vows before those who fear him. The humble shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise Yahweh who seek after him. Let your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember you and turn to Yahweh. All the relatives of the nations shall worship before you. For the kingdom is Yahweh's. He is the ruler over the nations. All the rich ones of the earth shall eat and worship. All those who go down to the dust shall bow before him, even he who can't keep his soul alive. Posterity shall serve him. Future generations shall be told about the Lord. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness to a people that shall be born, that he has done this. Psalm 23 Yahweh is my shepherd. I shall lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and loving kindness shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in Yahweh's house forever. Psalm 24 The earth is Yahweh's with its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it on the seas and established it on the floods. Who may ascend to Yahweh's hill? Who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to falsehood and has not sworn deceitfully. He shall receive a blessing from Yahweh, righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, even Jacob. Selah. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory will come in. Who is this King of glory? Yahweh, strong and mighty. Yahweh, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Yes, lift them up, you everlasting doors. 
and the King of Glory will come in. Who is this King of Glory? Yahweh of armies is the King of Glory. Selah. Psalm 25 is an acrostic poem. Aleph. To you, Yahweh, do I lift up my soul. Bait. My God, I have trusted in you. Don't let me be ashamed. Don't let my enemies triumph over me. Gimel. Yes, no one who waits for you shall be shamed. They shall be shamed who deal treacherously, without cause. Dalet. Show me your ways, Yahweh. Teach me your paths. Hey and Vav. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. I wait for you all day long. Zion. Yahweh, remember your tender mercies and your loving kindness, for they are from old times. Ket. Don't remember the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. Remember me according to your loving kindness, for your goodness sake, Yahweh. Tate. Good and upright is Yahweh. Therefore he will instruct sinners in the way. Yod. He will guide the humble in justice. He will teach the humble his way. Kaf. All the paths of Yahweh are loving kindness and truth to such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. Lamed. For your name's sake, Yahweh, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Mem. What man is he who fears Yahweh? He shall instruct him in the way that he shall choose. Nun. His soul shall dwell at ease. His seed shall inherit the land. Samek. The friendship of Yahweh is with those who fear him. He will show him them his covenant. Ayan. My eyes are ever on Yahweh, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Pay. Turn to me and have mercy on me, for I am desolate and afflicted. Sade. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring me out of my distresses. Resh. Consider my affliction and my travail. Forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are many. They hate me with cruel hatred. Shin. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be disappointed, for I take refuge in you. Tav. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, God, out of all his troubles. John 5. After these things, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of those who were sick, blind, lame, or paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at certain times into the pool and stirred up the water. Whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made whole of whatever disease he had. A certain man was there who had been sick for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been sick for a long time, he asked him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, but while I'm coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Arise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man was made well, and took up his mat and walked. Now it was the Sabbath on that day. So the Jews said to him, who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It's not lawful for you to carry that mat. He answered them, He who made me well, the same said to me, Take up your mat and walk. Then they asked him, who is the man who said to you, Take up your mat and walk? But he who was healed didn't know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn, a crowd being in the place. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, Behold, you are made well. Sin no more, so that nothing worse happens to you. 
the man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who made him well. For this cause the Jews persecuted Jesus and sought to kill him, because he did these things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father is still working, so I am working too. For this cause, therefore, the Jews sought all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but also called God his own father, making himself equal with God. Jesus therefore answered them, Most certainly I tell you, the Son can do nothing of himself but what he sees the Father doing. For whatever things he does, these the Son also does likewise. For the Father has affection for the Son and shows him all things that he himself does. He will show him greater works than these that you may marvel. For as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, even so the Son also gives life to whom he desires. For the Father judges no one, but he has given all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He who doesn't honor the Son doesn't honor the Father who sent him. Most certainly I tell you, he who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and doesn't come into judgment, but has passed out of death into life. Most certainly I tell you, the hour comes and now is, when the dead will hear the Son of God's voice, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, even so he gave to the Son also to have life in himself. He also gave him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Don't marvel at this, for the hour comes in which all that are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. I can of myself do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is righteous, because I don't seek my own will, but the will of my Father who sent me. If I testify about myself, my witness is not valid. It is another who testifies about me. I know that the testimony which he testifies about me is true. You have sent to John, and he has testified to the truth. But the testimony which I receive is not from man. However, I say these things that you may be saved. He was the burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But the testimony which I have is greater than that of John, for the works which the Father gave me to accomplish, the very works that I do testify about me, that the Father has sent me. The Father himself who sent me has testified about me. You have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his form. You don't have his word living in you because you don't believe him whom he sent. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life, and these are they which testify about me. Yet you will not come to me that you may have life. I don't receive glory from men, but I know you, that you don't have God's love in yourselves. I have come in my Father's name, and you don't receive me. If another comes in his own name, you will receive him. How can you believe who receive glory from one another, and you don't seek the glory that comes from the only God. Don't think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one who accuses you, even Moses, on whom you have set your hope. For if you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But if you don't believe his writings, how will you believe my words? This is the reading of God's word for today. Praise be to God. Amen.